and then add some protein to the cure. Hello, I'm Bob the Engineer. I'm here to inform you that the television program we were watching was interrupted because of the urgent news that some of our sensory neurons think that our body might have been invaded by leprosy bacteria. Leprosy is a very dangerous, infectious disease caused by the bacteria Mycobacterium leprae. Today, I will interview a specialist to learn more about this dangerous disease and to find out what precautions we should take so we are safe from this harmful bacteria. And remember, be careful and do not get near any suspicious looking bacteria. The leprosy bacteria can be harmful to our cells. Hello again, I'm Bob the Engineer. I'll now interview Mr. Schneider, specialist in leprosy that works in the cerebrum. He will tell us more about the disease. When and how can we get leprosy? <coughs> well, we can get leprosy in various countries around the world. And you will be infected with leprosy bacteria. By having physical contact with someone infected with leprosy, you may get leprosy, for example, because of a single handshake with a leprosy patient. It's really hard to know when or where a person got the disease, because it takes time before the symptoms appear. Our body already had leprosy some time ago, but we just found out about the invaders now, because the symptoms started appearing just a while ago. What can these invaders do to our body? Leprosy eventually causes nerve damage on the arms and legs which cause sensor loss on the skin, muscle weakness. And sometimes, when leprosy is not treated really fast, it may cause the loss of body parts. Why are the leprosy bacteria attacking now? It is attacking lots of parts in the body, but it is attacking the skin, the peripheral nerves, the mucosa of the upper respiratory tract, and the eyes more intensely. Some groups of white blood cells are in those parts of the body trying to make a defense. But they will not be able to protect us from the invaders for a long time. Thank you very much for your help. Join us tomorrow in another show where we interview other specialists to learn more about the cure of leprosy and about its symptoms. Have a good night. Hello, I am Bob the Engineer and I'm here to interview Mike, the white blood cell. He's an expert in leprosy and he'll tell us more about the cure of the leprosy disease. Does the body have any reaction to leprosy? The reaction of the body is not that effective. Not even our white blood cells can stop the bacteria. Have you heard of the leprosy bacteria? Yeah, it must be around here. <coughs> I heard that the folks at the cerebrum are planning on taking the body to a doctor. To have an MTD, a moody drug therapy, before the disease gets stronger and damage our body badly. Please, tell me more about the MDT. It consists of three drugs, the Dapson, Rifampicin, and Clofazimin. After the first treatment, the body can no longer transmit leprosy to other people. And after some months, the body is totally cured and has no leprosy anymore. It's a very efficient treatment and can be done with almost no medical training. Good. Can you tell me more about the symptoms of leprosy? Sure. Skin bruises that are lighter than normal skin color and have less senses to heat, touch, or pain appear. The body have numbness or absence of sensation on hands, arms, feet and legs and have muscle weakness. Thanks a lot for your help. Our program have a good night. Our body just had an MDT treatment and even though it still has leprosy, it can no longer transmit it to other bodies. The peripheral nerves in the eyes have been badly damaged and in some months, the leprosy bacteria will be totally gone from our body and there will be peace again. Until there, be careful and do not get near any suspicious- So, thanks for your patience of watching our video. Hey, I was supposed to say that. No, I was. 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 <laughs>